Hey yo, what's going on everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. Alright, so this video is going to be kind of a continuation of yesterday's video where I went over the 15 legendary raid bosses that are actually worth going after. But today, we're going to be talking about the 15 most relevant mega evolutions that you should never ignore whenever they are in raids. The reason for that is because each of these mega evolutions are considered top tier when it comes to raid damage. And on top of that, all of the additional bonuses that you get from mega evolutions, these are the ones that are going to benefit you the most. So whenever you see them in raid battles, you should definitely farm them up so that you have a whole bunch of mega energy so that you could mega evolve them on a whim. Right, so let's get started with this list. First off, let's talk about Mega Pinsir. This is a bug type mega evolution and it is incredibly powerful, especially when it comes to bug type raid damage. Now, recently we got the addition of Mega Heracross, but I would make the argument that Mega Pinsir is still going to be much better considering that it deals more DPS. And the thing is with Mega Pinsir, it has more favorable moves when it comes to bug type raid damage, so you would obviously want to go with this one over Mega Heracross. But if you do not have the mega energy for Mega Pinsir, the Mega Heracross is going to be a great second option. And then the next mega evolution that you should always raid is going to be Mega Charizard Y. Now, between the two mega evolutions for Charizard, I would say that Y is going to be a lot more useful, considering that it could be a top tier fire type, but also a top tier flying type. When it comes to dragon types, there's plenty of mega evolutions that you could use, so Mega Charizard X does suffer quite a bit. But when it comes to Mega Charizard Y, there are very few that rival this Pokemon, so I would highly suggest going with Mega Charizard Y if you have to choose between either X and Y. Now the next Mega Evolution that you should get is going to be Mega Galilee, and the reason for that is because, well, simply put, there's not a lot of great options for Ice-type Mega Evolutions. Galilee is going to give you the highest DPS, and it's going to survive much longer in battle compared to, let's say, Mega Obama Snow. So for that reason, I always suggest going for Mega Energy for Mega Galilee, specifically because when you need an Ice-type, you will want to make sure you have this, so you could power up all of the Mammoth Swines in that raid. But next up, let's talk about a Mega Evolution that actually has better versions of it out there in the wild, but this one is much easier to get. What do I mean by that? Well, Mega Garchomp is actually a top tier Mega Evolution, but it's not going to be the best option when it comes to ground types or dragon types. However, this is going to be a much cheaper option than those better Mega Evolutions, so you should definitely stock up on this one because there is going to be a lot of cases where you're going to need either a dragon type Mega Evolution or a ground type mega evolution and if you do not have the energy for those better pokemon then you should go with this one instead now the next mega evolution is actually considered one of the best generalists in the game and the reason for that is because it is an insanely high dps glass cannon and i'm of course talking about mega alakazam this is one of the only psychic type mega evolutions and on top of that it has a very diverse moveset so there's plenty of different places where you could use mega alakazam and on top of that it has insanely high dps because it has an insanely high attack stat that makes it one of the strongest class cannons in the game so you should definitely get the mega energy for this mega evolution there's going to be many situations where you might end up using mega alakazam so i do suggest you farm it up now next up we got mega septile when it comes to grass type raid damage this is an unrivaled pokemon sure there are other grass type mega evolutions that you can use namely mega venusaur but i think that mega septile is worlds beyond that pokemon you will definitely want to have a whole bunch of mega energy from mega septile stocked up because when you need a grass type for raid damage you will definitely want to go with mega septile it's a very powerful pokemon and it's something that you will always want to have ready when it comes to grass type raid damage and on top of that mega septile also gains the dragon typing which means it's going to be resistant to a lot of various moves so let's say you're going up against a raid boss that is weak against grass but it has a fire type attack mega septile is going to resist it just a little bit those are some of the key things regarding Mega Sceptile that you will want to use, but you do need to watch out because it does have a double weakness to ice. But naturally, if you're going to be using Mega Sceptile in raids, that raid boss may likely not have an ice type attack, but it's still something you should watch out for. Next up, we got the absolute best fairy type Mega Evolution in the game, and then it's going to be none other than Mega Gardevoir. 
The thing is with Mega Gardevoir is that it has a dual typing of Psychic and Fairy, which means if you need raid damage for either of these types, Mega Gardevoir could be your one-stop shop. This Pokemon deals incredible damage, it has a lot of tanky stats, and overall it's going to be your absolute best Fairy type in the game, bar none. And considering there's so many raid bosses that are weak against fairy types, this is definitely one you will want to use when it comes to a lot of those different legendary raids. Next up, let's talk about Mega Manetric. Now, very similar to a lot of the other Mega Evolutions on this list, this is going to be by far the best electric type Mega Evolution in the game. The reason for that is because it deals a lot of DPS, but it also has defensive stats. That means it's going to last long in battle, so you're gonna get the Mega Evolution bonus much longer, but it's also going to deal a high amount of damage while it is in battle. So. That is definitely a Pokemon you will want to farm up, and I do think that you should go with Mega Manectric over other electric type Mega Evolutions, such as Mega Ampharos. Next up, let's talk about a Mega Evolution that is quite infamous within Pokemon Go, and it's one that a lot of players tend to farm up whenever it is in raid battles, mainly because it is an incredible generalist on top of being a very powerful ghost type. And I'm of course talking about none other than Mega Gengar. This is one of the highest DPS Pokemon in the game, and if the raid boss is weak against ghost type attacks, the Mega Gengar is one you will definitely want to use. But something you need to keep in mind is that Mega Gengar is also considered considered the absolute best mega evolution for poison type raid damage. So if you're going up against a raid boss like a fairy type raid boss that is weak against poison types, then Mega Gengar might end up being your best option. However, the thing is with Mega Gengar, it is a glass cannon, so it tends to not last long in battle, especially when the opponent has psychic type attacks. Unfortunately, because Gengar has that dual typing of poison and ghost, that means it's going to have a weakness against psychic type attacks, which in most cases, you'll be using ghost types for psychic type legendaries, so, yeah, unfortunately, even though Mega Gengar might be a top counter, it's also going to get countered by the raid boss. That's a case that happens quite often. If that is something you're struggling with, then you could also opt to go with Mega Banet. That is a great second option to Mega Gengar. But do keep in mind, it's not going to deal as much DPS. Next up, these are technically not necessarily Mega Evolutions, but I'm still including them on this list because the mechanics are pretty much the same. And I'm of course talking about Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. These Primal Reversions are basically exactly like Mega Evolutions. They give you the same bonuses, they boost up the stats very similarly to Mega Evolutions, and then with Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, they are going to be the absolute best of their individual types. Next up, let's talk about a Mega Evolution that's actually very easy to farm up, and that is going to be Mega Blaziken. This is by far one of the best Mega Evolutions in the game, and whenever anyone tier lists Mega Evolutions, like myself, they will typically add Blaziken as an S tier. That is because this Pokemon is just so incredibly powerful, and it also has the dual typing of Fire and Fighting. And in both of these types, it's often considered the absolute best DPS. So whenever Mega Blaziken is in Mega Evolution raids, you definitely need to farm it up. There's going to be so many different cases where you will want to use this Pokemon. That versatility is what makes it top tier. Next up, another Mega Evolution you should prioritize, even though right now I think the only way you can get Mega Energy is from Elite Raids and Special Research, which is very unfortunate, but that is of course going to be Mega Deancey. This is a very powerful Rock type or Fairy type Mega Evolution, and it is also a legendary Mega Evolution with a lot of different special traits. Mega Deancey is quite powerful. Do not ignore any Mega Evolution raids featuring this Pokemon because collecting a bunch of Mega Energy for Deancey is going to be quite difficult, so you will want to take full advantage of every opportunity getting Mega Energy for this Pokemon. All right, we're down to the last two Mega Evolutions and by now you should have guessed what they are already. The first one is of course Mega Tyranitar. Ever since Mega Tyranitar was introduced, it pretty much changed the entire landscape of Pokemon Go's raiding scene. When it comes to dark types or rock types, this is the absolute best Pokemon you can use. Mega Tyranitar is incredibly versatile, very similar to Mega Blaziken, but on top of that, it deals incredible amounts of DPS and it has very defensive stats. So it's going to be a very useful Mega Evolution and you will want to make sure you have enough Mega Energy so that you can Mega Evolve Tyranitar whenever you need to. All right, and this leads me to the final Mega Evolution on this list, and it is by far the most powerful one in the game, and that is of course going to be Mega Rayquaza. 
Ever since this was introduced in last year's Pokemon Go Fest, it basically completely changed Pokemon Go. By far, it is the best Mega Evolution in the game. It's the best Dragon type raid attacker, which is going to make it very powerful against a plethora of different raid bosses. And then of course, it is the absolute best flying type in the game as well. So there's a lot of places where you're going to be using Mega Rayquaza. And then on top of that, it has some of the highest stats that you can have on a Pokemon compared to any other Pokemon in the game. And yeah, if you do not have yourself a Rayquaza with Dragon Ascent, you should definitely prioritize it. I think at the time that I'm recording this video, we're about to have an Elite Raid Day featuring this Pokemon. And if you're able to, I highly suggest you go out and farm up the Mega Energy as well as Dragon Ascent Rayquazas during this time. This is a Pokemon you never want to miss out on. It's so powerful, I end up using it for pretty much every different situation in Pokemon Go outside of just raids. And I really do think that if you are to get yourself a 100% IV Rayquaza and get it Mega Evolved, it's going to be a complete game changer for you. You definitely want to prioritize getting it. All right, and that's going to be it for this list. I really do think that that's pretty solid. If you focus in on these 15 Mega Evolutions and Primal Reversions, you're going to be good to go. Every single one of these are incredibly useful. Now, there are a lot of notable omissions in this list. There's clearly a whole bunch of Mega Evolutions that are incredibly useful. And of course, there's a bunch of Mega Evolutions that you just simply should ignore. But also keep in mind that there are so many Mega Evolutions that are going to be extremely powerful that have yet to make it to Pokemon Go. Notably, Mega Metagross, as well as the two forms of Mega Mewtwo, those are going to be incredible when they get introduced into the game. And I would also include Mega Lucario that is also going to be a game changer. So yeah, make sure you're on the lookout for that. Once those three Mega Evolutions come out, I'll probably redo this video because those three Pokemon are definitely going to be worthy of being in the top 15. So yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts regarding this list down below. Is there a particular Mega Evolution that you feel should be prioritized that I completely left off this list? I would like to know what Pokemon that is. And yeah, let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you ended up enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And real quick, I wanna give a shout out to all my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support the Content Slow channel, the absolute best way you could do so is by joining my Patreon. If you do that, you will get a permanent spot on my in-game Pokemon Go friends list. So when it comes to remote raids or the friendship system, if you want to interact with me in Pokemon Go, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And if you want to support my channel in a different way, you could always do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Content Slow. I'm on the platforms that you see on screen. Make sure you go over there and give me a follow. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Kamjinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.